Hey guys, Jesse here, and today I'm going to be taking a look at the Mastergrade RX78-2 One Year War version, Game Color version. Um, so I was just looking at my shelf of Gunpla, and I realized that I haven't done a review on one of my favorite Master Grades ever, and so I'm going to fix that right now. Uh, just as I mentioned, this is the Game Color version, which means that... So there were two versions of this kit released when it came out. There was the regular release, which has pretty normal Gundam colors, and then there was the game color version, which was based on the PS2 game of the time. Um, I don't remember the name of it, but it, the colors of the Gundam in that game were a little bit different, so they were more subdued, a little desaturated. I would, I would describe them as like kind of pastel, and so this is what this is. Um, it's a little easier to find now because I think they reprinted this kit a couple years ago, but at a time, at, w at one point, it was really hard to find the game color version. Um, you really had to shop around to find it. Um, but here it is here. Well, let's just go ahead and talk about it. Um, in terms of what I did with this kit, I, pr I basically did nothing. Um, I just panel lined it, decaled it, and top coated it. And I just felt like doing a straight build of this guy because um, at the time, I think I just came off of a really strenuous build and I just felt like straight building a master grade. And I regret it a little bit because this guy is really nice. I, I just sort of thought to myself, uh, it's another granddaddy Gundam, whatever, but don't, don't discredit this guy at all. It's, this is a great kit. Uh, the only thing I painted was the Vulcans in the head. Those come... Um, in the color of these, of the white here. Um, so those need to be painted yellow. Uh, the only stickers you need to use on this kit are the eyes and the front and back camera. Aside from that, there's no other stickers on this kit for color apps. And the decals that come with this kit are sticker decals and some dry transfers. So again, didn't do anything. This is basically a straight build just with a top coat and panel lining. And just talk about the looks of this kit. I mean, the first thing that jumps out to you with this version of the RX-78 are those panel lines. Dear Lord, there are a lot of panel lines. I mean, you can see them all over this kit. And I'm not a big fan of the uh, like kits with a ridiculous amount of panel lines. I mean, it's my main reason for really hating Dragon Momoko designs, but um, I think this guy's, like as a whole, it, it really comes together quite nice. Um, I can't complain. I think the knee here is a little too overly covered in panel lines and details, but I think overall it, it makes for a really nice looking kit, especially if you go in with black. Um, the panel lines are also quite deep and, and just well sculpted, so you're not going to really run into any panel, panel lines that feel shallow, that you feel like you need to rescribe. That can sometimes be a problem for kits with a lot of panel lines, but this guy was perfectly fine. And speaking of the build, this guy was just so much fun to build. Um, I don't know why, maybe it's because it just went together so well and the engineering was just very simple and elegant, but very effective. Uh, I don't know what it is exactly about it, but building this kit was one of the most fun master grades I've ever done. Um, the details on this kit are very interesting. Uh, they actually, the some of the panel lines, like some on the leg and the arm and on the chest, match the perfect grade details, and the inner frame of this kit is almost exactly the same as the perfect grade, uh, detail-wise. Um, when it comes to building, the legs are actually real grade style, where you have the entire frame on one runner, and you just, you know, you just cut it out and you twist and turn things, and then you have your inner frame for the leg. Um, but the details on that inner frame for the leg are exactly the same as the details on the perfect grade. It's it's pretty cool. So. Um, if this is a kit that if you want to display just with, you know, half of the inner frame uh, showing, it would be well worth the paint. There's a lot of detail on the inner frame here. Um, another thing in terms of looks are the decals. I love the decals on this kit. Uh, I really love the red um, on this off-white. It, it really looks nice. For whatever reason, I really like red decals on white. Um, and just these really stark white uh, decals on the darker areas and the nice sort of gray 
on the shoulders here for those decals look great. I mean, the whole color scheme is subdued, so to have some subdued decals, like the larger larger ones, be this really light, light gray, it, it really just adds to the kit. I mean, this kit looks real. I mean, it looks intimidating and, and big and very believable. So um, one of the other things I really like, just to mention, is the head sculpt. This is probably my favorite Gundam head sculpt for the Granddaddy Gundam. Just looks so intimidating and so good. So, talking about articulation, um, there's not much to talk about. It's pretty normal. Uh, I think the coolest thing is the fact that you can lift the arm this high. This is sort of a, you know, revive level of articulation. A lot of Master Grades have this, but I remember this being just something really nice to get out of this kit because it was a bit older. Uh, the vents here actually articulate. You can actually open them up a little bit, which is pretty cool. Um, of course, you can open the cockpit. Something I forgot to mention, uh, there's no pilot. <laughs> there's no detailed cockpit. Uh, there's no core fighter either. That's just sort of a, it's a core block, but they put a blue piece in there to make it look like there's a cockpit, but there's no cockpit. And there's no standing figure either, so um, pretty weird. I only know of like two other master grades that don't have pilots, and they're not supposed to have pilots, so... Yeah, I don't know why they decided to do that, but whatever. Um, the biggest problem with the articulation here are the hips. Uh, they're just ball joints, so that's about as much as you're going to spread them on this kit. It's not going any further than that. And there's no thigh swivel, so you're limited to that ball joint. Otherwise, the legs are amazing. Uh, great double joint here. Uh, the ankles are great. They move anywhere you want. Look at that toe. End. it's great. Uh, it just sucks that it's limited to this uh, weak spread. So yeah, um, the beam sabers also articulate around which is which is always nice to have and then the thrusters move. So yeah, articulation is great except for the except for those um, hip joints. but I really like this guy just standing there. Um, of course he can pull off really nice action poses but Again, he just looks so intimidating and big that I kind of just like to have him staying there staring down at other kits. So moving on to accessories, you get the very standard RX-78-2 <laughs> accessories. So we'll start out with the shield. I like this shield, but for me it's a little stubby and a little too blocky, but uh, it's still very nicely detailed with the panel lines and such. Really, really cool dry transfer that goes on there. The white is re is really nice against this pink. Um, you have a clear piece here in the visor, but no blast shield, so that kind of sucks. Um, and then, interestingly, there's no peg on the arm for this. It just clips on. It clips on the onto the side, thankfully, but it just clips onto the arm. And you also have this handle, which I thought moved, but I think mine just might be stuck. But as you can see, you've got a hole here. It's connected to the middle hole, and there's a hole at the top, so you can change the height of it. And if you get it out, uh, mine's kind of really stuck in there, but if you get it out, you can move around this little connector piece so that there's a peg facing outward, excuse me, and you can plug it onto the backpack. So it's got all the regular functions of a RX-78-2 shield. Next up is the beam rifle. Uh, not much to say about this beam rifle. It's, it's a Gundam beam rifle. I mean, we all know this design. It's, it's classic. Uh, aside from having a few extra panel lines, nothing too special about this. This is just two pieces clamped together around some barrel and scope parts. So there's a seam line running around this whole thing, but it's not anything too new. Um, the handle does move, scope moves, and that's about it. <laughs> Uh, there's tabs in the hands, so it can hold the weapons just fine. And yeah, uh, not much to say. There is a little connector uh, piece that pops out here, so you can plug it onto the back skirt. And what's kind of nice is there's a poly cap in there, and for whatever reason, Bandai recently has been... If, if they have a kit that can plug a weapon onto the back skirt, it, there's no poly cap to plug into. It's just like a hard connection. And it can be really hard to plug those in and then get them out. But with the poly cap, this uh, plugs in and out pretty easily. But um, unfortunately, it is a little loose. 
but if you don't mess with it, it it'll stay in there so that's always cool and then you get some beam saber effect parts uh, i only have one here but it does come with two cool thing about these are is that they're curved and tapered so if you pose this guy just right and angle your photo just right it'll look like he's slashing through the air which is super cool um not many kits come with a curved beam saber the only one i can think of is maybe the wing gundam zero ew custom the one with the angel wings you know what i'm talking about um but as far as i know this is like the only master aid uh that comes with a pink curved beam saber beam saber that would be interesting beam saber so and then finally um it did come with the bazooka but i really hate the original gundam's uh bazooka design and the entire thing just comes gray, just like the beam saber there, or the beam rifle there. And I really wasn't going to waste time and materials uh, fixing the giant seam that is on that bazooka for something I really don't like. So, sorry I don't have it here, but I, long story short, I just didn't build it because I hate it. And that's about it for this kit. Uh, really, I love the look of this kit. I think the biggest selling point in this kit are the looks. And if you like the game color version... Uh, the colors on this thing are also really, really nice. It's a good change. It's a it's a good change from the original colors, but it's not like a drastic change. You know, you're not changing blue to like yellow or anything crazy like that. It's just knocking down the saturation a bit and um, just bringing the colors down a bit to a more realistic level. And that's the biggest strength of this kit, just the looks. So. And if you love panel lining, this thing is like a dream, right? I mean, it's absolutely covered in panel lines. And it really helps with the, again, with the realistic look. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you all next time. Bye-bye.